In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create a new client or a new project in the Graphic Studio software. So the first thing to do is launch the software. So we come down to the bottom here and we find uh, or launch the software. So I click it to, to launch the program. The images I'm going to be importing into the software are from Andrew Younger, uh, Younger Photography, so we thank him for the use of his images. Uh, so we're not actually going to do any design work. I'm just show, going to show you how to get started and kind of launch uh, the software and, and, and import the images. So you'll get this splash screen that comes up onto your screen, and this is where you can close the software down again or open an existing project. You might have um, a, a menu of, of them here uh, once you've created a few, uh, but we're going to create a new project. Now I'm going to give it a name and stick it on my desktop. So let's call it Martin and Fran 2015 however you name your documents. But this is going to be the folder that our software keeps all the information in. So the next thing is to decide what product you want to design. And in this case, it's going to be an album. So we go to book and click the next button. And we're going to have a vertical, and the next button. And we can pre-select the number of pages if that's the way you work. So you know it's a 60 page album. You can put 60 in here. Uh, there's a drop down menu. But I'm just going to put uh, two because I can add the number of pages as I go through. The color of the page, I'm going to kind of keep it as uh, white, um, obviously in English, and whether this is a digital matted album, which it's not going to be, so I'm just going to kind of not tick the box and move on. So you'll see that it's uh, launched the two palettes, um, which we'll talk about in the, in the next uh, tutorial. So here we are, this is our working area. So this is our double page spread, page left, and the right hand page, and we count. Um, each page or a side, so that's page two and page three, um, or you, some people describe them as a double page spread DPS. So the next thing to do is we've created this, it's called Martin and Fan 2015, and also the software has created a folder which I'm just bringing into view here, uh, which I've saved to my desktop. Now I always suggest that during the design process and until you get the album back from uh, Graph Studio that you uh, keep this folder on your desktop uh, so that you're not rooting around or or that we don't have any issues with the software trying to find it. Once the software is on screen, we can resize um, the, the size of the working area to whatever suits. Um, if the palettes, you lose the tops of the palettes or anything like that, there's a button over here in options that you can reset the position of the palettes or reset, uh, reset the position of the main window. Sometimes if I'm working with a dual monitor and they're running at different screen resolutions, um, it can cause an issue and I just hit the res uh, reset position of the main window. So We've got the name, we've got the folder, now it's just a matter of importing some images. So my suggestion is that uh, you bring the images from your digital camera. Uh, you'll probably import them through uh, Lightroom or the camera manufacturer's software. And you'll probably do your first call. You'll get rid of the, the blinkers, the out of focus, or maybe you've duplicated shots. And it may be that you do your first edit as well. It could be with the density or levels where you, you kind of batch process. Once you've got images ready for the album, and I suggest that you only import images that you know for sure are definitely going in the album, you just put them in a folder um, like this. So these are pretty much all JPEGs. Um, and then within the software, we go to Import Images. Um, you can import a whole folder of images, or you can import a single or um, a few images. If you want to import through Photoshop, this will just check that the images are saved in the correct way, so that the correct algorithm for the JPEG was used and that it's using the correct um, colour profile. We generally work in uh, sRGB, we can accept Adobe 98 files as well. So I'm going to import not a huge amount of pictures, just a few to get us going. Here's Andrew's images, so I'm just going to select I don't know, maybe um, five or six images just to show you uh, what happens. So we press open. And what happens now is that we copy from your high-res image folder the high-res images into, a fol into our folder. So we duplicate the high-res, and at the very same time, we create proxy images or thumbnails or um, smaller images. And that's what you're going to see down here. And this is so that if you're working with several hundred images at the same time, it's not killing the computer, as in uh, using all the resources, the memory, um, and that we can still work very quickly, even with a large number of images. So at, at the moment, you can see there's a few down here now that I've just imported. Uh, just while we've got the images, there's a button over here that says Organize. So I can actually move the organize or organize the images on this light box here. If I click on it, we get a bigger view of it. I can rotate them, but I would suggest you do that in the uh, software when you import, import them from your camera. You can reject images, uh, and then we can order them by name or by date. And we can also um, 
reject um, into a separate folder have a rejected folder so I've chosen a rejected and you can select this which says hide pictures already used if you're using uh, an image uh, and you bring it up onto the screen to use it either in a template or to design you can see that it grays it out but you can also get it to disappear um, if that's the way you want to work so well, as I said at the beginning we're not going to actually design anything at the moment this is just to get you started and uh, familiar, familiar, familiarize yourself with um, the, the, the software.